Hey friends, it's Becca with Beautiful Mess Plans. Um, I am here today to film a plan with me in my Sterling Ink. I almost said Ribbon Itchy Weeks because that's what I used last year, in case you didn't know. Um, but I don't have that anymore. So this is how this week is turning out. It's currently Friday. I could probably mark that it's a snow day. Uh, my kids were home on Tuesday, Wednesday, and now today on Friday. It has been a heck of a week. But hopefully we will have better luck this next week. So, um, I used this last week and I was going to use this one this week, but I was kind of thinking I might use the snow ones again because next week, I don't think we're supposed to get snow, but it's not going to be, um, a particularly warm week. In fact, we have like, we're in like cold weather warnings. There's a couple days that like the high is zero or in the negatives and the wind chill is even colder so that sounds like fun um in a we walk to school kind of way but it will be fine they will either call school or we will just bundle up like our lives depend on it which seems i guess somewhat like a fitting statement and so anyway everyone is home today even my husband's working from home because we got ice so I think what I was thinking about doing is I was thinking about taking these, cutting them in half, and actually decorating the top with them. So, um, oh, sorry, I hit, I'm hit, i hitting everything. So we'll see how that turns out because some of them are bigger, but I think it would still work. But I thought that would be kind of cute to do along the top, you know, with all this wintry, definitely wintry weather we're getting. So... Um, I'm going to actually turn this upside down. Last week was good. It was a bit on the busy side. Well, it was supposed to be like getting back into the swing of things of school. But um, they did not have school on Tuesday, like I said. Which we, Monday, the, the storm actually got here. It started snowing real bad. Uh, when we walked to pick up my kids, uh, we were getting pelted with um, sleet on our walk, and it was extremely unpleasant. I kind of covered up the date there, but I think that's fine. Um, so that was extremely unpleasant walk to pick up that day. And then they called school, so we didn't have school on Tuesday. Uh, I mean, we got a lot of snow. We got like five inches of snow, I think. And then we got um, Wednesday. They ended up having no school because everything then iced up. So that was fun. So we had Tuesday and Wednesday off. And then on what well, I had to go to the dentist on Wednesday. So I was not work from home on Tuesday because there was a lot of snow. And then, hold on. There, oh, I ripped my page. Okay. Well, it's gonna, it's just gonna be fine. We may have to glue that. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna take it off. We're not gonna use it. We don't have to, it'll be fine. <laughs> um, so my husband worked from home on Tuesday and then on Wednesday morning, because I had to go to the dentist and I was not about to take three kids to the dentist with me. So, and then he went in the rest of the day on Wednesday. Kids went back on Thursday, and I also went to a middle school thing on Thursday, which was kind of nuts. It was like all about enrolling in middle school for my oldest. Uh, I covered the subject. Eh, it's fine. Um, who, in case you don't know, she's a fifth grader this year, so she'll be in middle school next year. So um, I went to that next. So I went to that actually last night and learned all about how to enroll my kid and you know picking electives and um, she basically we kind of narrowed down what her options will be because she does have orchestra she wants to continue on with orchestra which I think is great um, so she has far fewer options in uh, sixth grade as far as electives are concerned because of, um, she has to take a full year of PE, but seventh and eighth grade, because she doesn't have to take that much PE, she'll have more options for electives, which will be nice for her. And heck, I hated PE. Um, she's not my most athletic kid, but it'll be fine. 
She just does what she has to do. So we learned all about that. And next week, they're actually going to go to the uh, elementary schools to um, talk to the kids and give them their forms. And then we have to get them all enrolled um, by like, I might put that one there because that's like the same color. Um, by like the 25th, I think, is when we enrolled them. Which is just kind of crazy. All right. I like that. What do we think? I don't know. It feels wintry. Instead of like doing the washi tape at the top. Oh, oops. I'm pulling one of them up. Okay. Let's, um, I think the thing that we're going to do first is we're going to put in the functional stuff because I think I've learned that doing functional things first is kind of a necessity stuff there I still oh no I do have some now I don't know why oh it's right on top it's in my pile I was gonna say I don't have work stickers now but I do so I think what I figured out is I need to put the functional stuff in first and then fill in like the decorative stuff so we're going to carefully flip over since those are drying we have no school on Monday it's Martin Luther King Jr. day no school and my husband's off Tuesday we have math wings and a vet uh Wednesday, it doesn't involve me, but my daughter's going on a special course field trip, so I'll probably mark that just so I know where she is. And then we have gymnastics and open library. So I guess we'll go day by day. I want to say that I saw um, a Martin Luther King Jr. sticker somewhere here. There's an MLK day here that I could use, or I had made myself my own, like smaller versions of uh, holidays scripts. So I could just use that, or I could use the MLK day. I don't know what I think. I could use that one there. I could do that one. Um, so yeah, everybody will be off this day, which is just as well because it's supposed to be super, super cold. So we have no school. I don't know how I want to mark that. Like no school. I'm not even going to work that day. No school and my husband being off. We're going to pull out these two. Um, so maybe we'll come back to that. Or maybe we'll de just decorate that day. I don't know. Okay, and then we have math wings and my cat has a vet appointment at so we have math wings where did i mark it last time right here and then i gotta take my cat to the vet she um right before christmas she her eye she wouldn't open her eye and we were leaving town and it was like everything was closing down because it was literally right before christmas and so we got our appointment as soon as we could. Um, I can't forget what I was saying, I was interrupted. Um, but we got our appointment as soon as we could after the holidays and went and took her in. And she has, um, I don't remember what they said, but she had an eye. Do I want that or does that seem big? It seems kind of big for that appointment. I'm hoping not to be there that long. Uh, maybe we'll use one of these smaller ones. Um, so she basically would do eye drops and antibiotics and they think it was like induced by stress, which we were getting ready to leave town and she does not like it when we leave. So it just could be that. All right. Special course field trip. Um, we're just going to mark that. I think at the top, let me get my, um, but I have to take, she's much better now. We're still doing the eye drops. Um, but what we do have to take her in to get um, her eye checked back out just to make sure that all is good. So I got to do that on Tuesday. I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> um, but okay, I'll mark the special chorus. <laughs> my husband's working from home today too and he popped back up um for my daughter and then we have gymnastics and open library which i think we'll just do dots so gymnastics and we have open library she i think i talked about this last semester in maybe october ish 
she did like Spiro coating last time. This time she's doing some kind of Lego coating. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. Um, okay, so I need to also work, mark like my working times. So we're going to put it here. I will be able to work, oops, every day, except for I'm not going to work on Monday because everyone's off. It's a holiday. I'm taking the day as well. Um, I think that's it, right? There's actually a veterinarian appointment in here. I feel like I should use that. Like, oop, when am I ever going to use this veterinarian appointment otherwise? I mean, not that I use these very often, but I don't know that I even have a paw print one. So I feel like I should use this somehow. Somehow, though, my fingers are just in the way. So I thought about putting it up above, or I could put it here and then just write the time there. Because obviously I know it's for my cat. Whose name, by the way, is Stella. We call her Stella Cat. Because she's got a real name. Like, a, people have the name of Stella. We, after we had kids, for whatever reason, like, we didn't consciously do this. But we did start calling her Stella Cat. Because it was like... It got confusing for people that were trying to figure out like who we were talking about. Was it our kid or was it our cat? So we started calling her Stella Cat and that's just what she is now. She's Stella Cat. So we've had her, I think I've talked about her before, but she is 15. So she's my little oldie, but she's still hanging in strong other than this eye thing. Obviously not great, but um, I don't know if you can hear all that's going on in the background. My kids are watching. A Disney movie. My husband's working in the kitchen. My youngest actually is like, can I put all the dishes in the dishwasher for, you know, extra, extra chore money? So the water's going, the wind is rattling, the drown, the downspouts. There's a lot of noise happening around me. I don't know how much is getting picked up anywhere, but that's what's happening. So there's those. I'm going to draw my lines take this off it's falling off um so i am going to draw lines down for my working hours i did this in my hobonichi cousin when i had a cousin and i kind of liked this i actually am not using a separate work planner i was for a little while but i um since I have the room to write it in here, I'm using, I can show you in just a second what I use for work stuff real quick. I don't know if any of you care how I do the shop stuff, but for anyone that might care, um, I'm using this, it's a Sterling Ink 8-6 size monthly booklet. Um, and it just has, so we have the calendar in here. Um, we have this blank page, which I'm going to use as the income and expenses tracker for 2024. We have uh, this page I probably won't use. Um, these pages, I'm going to skip quarter one because I started writing on it. Um, I'm basically just tracking how many orders and the revenue from that day. And then the months I'm using, I have color coding. I'll probably change it for months, but it's basically like what Instagram post I'm putting, what YouTube video and then shop related stuff. So to do's or sales that are coming up. So here's like a hint of what's coming for the, for, for the month. And I haven't done uh, February yet, but I just penciled stuff in for the rest of the year for sales that are coming, whatnot. And then in the back, I have an expense tracker. So that's what I'm using. And then I'm just using this actually to track like what I need to do per day, because I had a, um, I'm off on a tangent. I'm sorry a day designer that I was using. And so I would use it the same way. So I had the month layout and then I would just use it here. And this just stayed on my desk, but it's like, if I'm already have this open, it's just easy to be like, oh, I gotta do this. This has my running to do this anyway. So this works out for me. Um, I forgot that I want to mark church over here. I don't think we have any plans for the weekend. Um, I do need to get my ring cleaned. I'm once again not wearing it. Um, 
the rash came back. So I had it on in my last video. And by the end of that day, cause the rash had cleared up. And then by the end of the day, the dang rash was back. So I took it off again and I started putting the stuff back on it again. And um, it's almost cleared again, but I don't know that I'm gonna put it back on until um, I actually get my ring clean because I think there might be something in the ring that's irritating my skin. So I'm not gonna put it back on until I get it actually cleaned, which this is my month to get it cleaned anyway. And that way I can, um, I can, um, hopefully it won't come back because it's getting real annoying. Even though it is holiday, I still need to go get groceries. So we'll mark groceries. I swear we're gonna get to the fun part of decorating. I mean, that is kind of the more fun part than just like the functional aspect. Um, and I am doing workouts this week. And most of them will be my typical workouts. I don't know that I want to put the barbells. Here's my thought. They feel very big. Maybe they're not. Maybe it's just in my head. Maybe I'm just going to leave them off because back here in the back, I actually track. This is like my fitness area. I count out 52 weeks. So I just have my workouts all, you know, like, because I use Moms in a Fitness app. And then I just write out, you know, how things went, what's hurting, what I need to do different. Do I need to go up in the weights? Do I need to go down the weights? That kind of thing. So I don't know that I need to write it here. Okay, I'm just going to leave it for now. And I can always change my mind later. I want a pencil, though, in order to put my line. That's a highlighter. Um, in order to put my line across for my to-do list. So there's nothing that's in the evening, so I should be able to just go straight across here. Like so. And in case you're wondering, I am like, if I finish a book, like I need to put it here. I just finished a book earlier today. Just like marking stuff if I wanted to do. Occasionally I put like memory planning, like what I was doing on a Saturday, things like that. So. Um, I can always do that at the bottom if I, if there was something in particular I wanted to remember about that day. So I think, I think, uh, we have concluded the functional part of our day. I lost something I was looking for. That seems like a silly statement. I'm going to keep those out because I might, oh, here it is. Um, to-do list. Let's just put this one right here to do this. I don't think there's anything else here that I need to, I guess, watering my plants. I could put the sticker down. Might as well use it. I have it. Um, I'll try to do those on Fridays, though. So let's put this over here. Okay, so now the question is, do I want to use snowflakes around and, you know, continue the snowflake thing? Or do we want to go with some of different decorative um, items? So let's kind of pull out what I have. I did not pull out a, okay. I mean, I kind of feel like I should do Snowflakes. Just use up the rest of the sheet. Maybe. You know, I'm trying to use, I've talked about this before, I'm trying to use as much as I can of all of my, of my kits so I don't have anything left um, because I don't tend to use them later. So I will cut that off in a minute. So I feel like my best course is to just try to use it all up and just, let's just go full into the snowflakes, all right? I don't have much on that day, so I feel like I can do that there. I don't wanna do anything too big over here because I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna put 
my workouts or not. Um, let's do... Let's do this right here, because that should be fairly empty. And then we have all these little ones that we can just scatter about, I think, without too much concern about, you know, how it's looking and where they're at. And then that, that finishes this sheet, which is kind of nice. Actually, I'm gonna put this here and then one more and the last sheet is done, which is super nice. Um, where do we wanna put my last snowflake? I'm trying to find kind of an empty-ish spot. It doesn't have anything over here maybe. Sure, why not? Um, now, Let's kind of look, is there anything else that I want to add? I don't think so. I mean, there are these snowflakes, but I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. Let's write in what I have. So that's 90M, we have. Actually, oh, you know what I need to mark? I should mark our Hot Chocolate Friday. I'm thinking about it. I'm looking through the, I still like my boos. And so we'll put boo over here for Hot Chocolate Friday. I think we might be doing our FaceTime at the same time again. down get my ring cleaned I was gonna try to go out this week but the weather was not very kind get ring cleaned I know that I have to do that I did do this I'm gonna cross that off I think that's it oh I need to cut that um if I, oh, there's the scissors I was gonna say I don't know where I put the scissors Okay, take those off. All right, I think that's it. I'm just gonna keep it. I, I was interrupted and I don't remember what I was saying except for I think I was signing off. Um, this is what I'm gonna do for the week. If I decide to add something, I guess you'll see it when I, after I add something. So I'm gonna leave it at this and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.